Yo, what's going on, boys? It's the Abstract, and I'm back with a very, very, very special video. You guys haven't seen me in a minute, and that's fair, but I want to make sure that when I did come back, it was with something special. And what could be more special for us college football gamers than this moment right here? We are on the precipice, the cusp of greatness. We're a month away. I think this is my first time also showing my face on cam, so pretty special video, face reveal, plus I'm returning back to the channel. Anyways, let's not ramble, let's not hesitate, let's get right into this video. I'm going to be 100% as honest as I can be. I, I'm not sponsored, I'm not getting paid, EA is not in my pocket. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give it to you the way I see it. If you don't like that, I completely understand. Hopefully you'll like my next video. Anyways. Without further ado, boys, let's get into it. Hey everyone, Kirk Herbstreet here, and welcome to the official EA Sports College Football 25 Gameplay Deep Dive. Today's focus is on the exciting new Campus IQ gameplay feature set, which includes the new wear and tear system, player abilities, home field advantage, unique playbooks, and a host of new mechanics that deliver the explosive, fast-paced game. Oh, this is how they're going. Okay, this is how everything looks. Okay. So it still looks like traditional college football gameplay. You know what I mean? Little uh, screenshots of, of the stadium, things like that. Everything looks kind of the same as they've, as it, it, it's still an NCAA experience, is what I'm trying to say. And a host of new mechanics that deliver the explosive, fast paced nice. gameplay unique to college football. Let's get into it. The new wear and tear system changes how you approach every snap. Wear and tear is a progressive player health system that prioritizes strategic substitutions and diverse play calling to keep your players healthy. With wear and tear Hold substitutions on. and diverse play... Okay, look, I know everybody's enamored by just seeing the gameplay, but look at the breakdown. Look at, look at what's happening on the field from this short, short, microscopic segment of gameplay that we got in front of us but really really digest this because this is where we're going to be playing every day after july 19th right to me i'm just going to say this my first thoughts i was i was one of those people that was really worried about ea giving us a madden reskin and i feel like personally i don't think it's possible for them to give us a real madden reskin because college football just doesn't work the same as is as uh the nfl does and I know that they said during their, um, the people that played the game in Orlando, you know, they went back to their, their company, CBS Sports, New York Times, whatever, and they've, they've made stories about their experience playing it. And one of the ones I, I read, it was talking about how it's going to be a faster gameplay or a faster game pace than, than the NFL, which makes so much more sense, in my opinion, because it always has been that way. College football plays a lot faster than, than the NFL has ever played. Just because you're dealing with a lot of raw talent in college, and there's not the parameter between the best player or the, the gap between the best player and the worst player is pretty significant. Where in the NFL, it's your worst DB is not that far off your best DB. Even though it might seem like that, even though you might see people get blown coverages, get, get blown man to man, doesn't matter. They're still some of the best athletes on the planet. So with that being said, it makes sense why this game is going to play out faster than Madden. But what I'm really interested to see is did they get into the trenches? Because increasing the, making the attributes, be, making the attributes be more reflective for the game style and the climate of college football, how it plays out today, that's, that's, that's fine. You can do that. That doesn't change the core game mechanics. And I'm going to say this one time, okay? I'll probably say it a lot more. I don't know why I said one time, but... As long as Madden is still, as long as EA is still allowing their sports games to be ran off the Frostbite engine, they're going to run into issues. And it's just the way the engine is set up. It's not, it's not, I'm not taking a dig at them. I'm not saying I'm not satisfied. We just got to call the spade a spade. That Frostbite engine was designed for Battlefield. It was designed for games where, I remember when they first brought it in, side note, it was for Levolution, like leveling down buildings as the game progresses, as the war is going on, whatever the case may be. They took that engine and they made a football game, a soccer game, a hockey game out of it because it looks visually pleasing. It looks appealing. But as far as gameplay goes, this is not, in my opinion, 
the best that they can do, especially when you're looking at what is reflective of what's happening on Saturday and Sunday and what's happening on these games. There's a reason why people don't want it to be a Madden reskin. It's not because they hate Madden. It's because the core fundamental gameplay of Madden is rotten. It's rotten. And you need, you need something special to fix that. But anyways, back to the video. Play calling to keep your players healthy. With wear and tear, every hit matters. But not all hits have the same impact. And mm -hmm. a single hit, like a blow to a quarterback's throwing arm, oh, look at the, all look hits at the throwing have the animation. same impact. And a single hit, like a blow... It's a throwing meter. And it looks like... I wonder if you can control this. I wonder if you can control the ball placement. Just like in Madden, kind of, right? But there's no, there's no meter in Madden, if that makes sense. Oklahoma's got the SEC badge. I like this. College football is back, man. It is back. Blow to a quarterback's throwing arm can change everything, just nice. like it can in real life. Every hit scales differently. And this is going to be broken. I'm pr I, if I had to predict one of these features to not make sense come, come game day, the day this game gets released or whatever, if I had to predict one feature to not work as it should, Come game day, I think this wear and tear system is going to need some tweaking. Okay, so as I'm editing this, I realize that a lot of this kind of sounds very negative, and I don't want it to come across that way. So any of the you know fanboys, everybody that's anticipating, and I'm also anticipating this game, I just wanted to make a prediction on something that I feel like may not land as well as we are hoping come game day. And I want everything to work. And if it does, so if please down, call me out on it. And I'll bring it back up in another video and I'll say I was wrong. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Injuries from a sack, depending on when the game was played. Or I'm sorry, when the play was made. First quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. I feel like that should matter too. So I'm, I'm definitely assuming that stamina is going to play a big role in this. Like it did in the last college football game with injuries. And like it does in every football game, I should say. But I really feel like this system is something we're going to have to keep our eye on. Because, I mean, you're thinking about people doing rebuilds. Your best player might be your quarterback or your star wide receiver. And if you're chugging the ball up to him every play, I get what they're trying to limit. They're trying to limit the cheese, right? Because it's going to be a lot of cheese in the gameplay if players are able to just run with the best players 100% of the time. And I heard that that's the, big, that's the big gameplay differential is that they're trying to make it so the best players feel like the best players. And you really feel that, that gap in between the two. Unique effects on a player's performance as damage and fatigue add up over the course of a game. Managing wear and tear is critical to your team's success, both in a single game. Wear and tear is critical to your team's success, both in a single game. At least it wasn't his throwing arm. <laughs> and over the course of a season. And EA Sports College Football 25 were introducing both mental and physical player ability chip shot player headed look at these mobile resistance mobile resistance off platform on time option disruptor yeah this is starting to feel like madden unfortunately because what i want what i want everybody to think about is how unique can a player be if you can equip an ability on them and then they play like you're like the other players with that same ability. Does that make sense? Like attributes have to matter, right? Attributes have to matter. And the way Madden has it set now is once your player gets one of these abilities, right? They're able to just perform kind of on a predictive level. Like you know when that interception is gonna be made. You know when that fumble is probably gonna be caused very heavily based on the ability they have, right? That's why they're there. I, I don't think gameplay in a sports game needs to be dictated too much about around abilities. It should be more about it should be more about attributes. If a player is is bigger, if he's faster, if he's quicker, he's more explosive, he's more likely to make a play, and he's more likely to get to the ball. That should be where we leave it at. But who knows? I'm, right now, I'm just speculating. I'm not I'm not dissing the game. I'm just speculating. We still got to play it. We still got to figure out if we like it and all those things. I'm just saying that from first first glance, I'm not too big of a fan of the player abilities. But who knows? Maybe that'll change. Abilities that help separate highly skilled players from untested freshmen. 
in contrast to the pros where superstar talent is generally balanced across the league. Right. The player abilities in college were designed to showcase the overall discrepancy nice. in player and team. College were designed to showcase this the balance across the league. Oh. The player abilities in college were designed to showcase. This is a little gross. If we watch, if we watch 55 right here, look at him. Look at him beat the blocker. Hold on, watch this. balanced across. The I'm gonna mute you, Kurt, for just a second. Look at this uh this offensive line play. I'm loving this. The runner the blockers are staying downfield. The blockers are still picking up the blocks. They're they're looking upwards. They're not just doing whatever. They're looking upfield. I like the angle the safety was taking. Okay, look at look at look at 52. 55 is right here on Michigan, right? He's gonna take 64. He's gonna take this 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 roll right here. He's gonna get blocked by 64. But here's the problem. By 52 they spin each other around 55 clearly is off right here I'm, I'm trying to get at the right time right here 55 this is a clear break this is a clear break anything past this you're looking at a real holding call like look at this look at this right here and he's kind of getting suctioned back in to it what I do like what I do like is 55 right here. He's not sitting there waiting. He's going to go double team somebody. Look at him. No pressure needed here. Really, he does need to be here. But 76 is getting very close to Quinn Ewers. Look at the uh, look at this heart symbol right here. So what could that be? Fatigue maybe, or maybe he's maybe he maybe he just got injured and you put him back in the game and now he's like his injury chance of of or his re-injury chance is medium. Maybe something like that. He's also got this fire symbol right here. So maybe he's on a hot streak. Maybe he's got like completions. He's been throwing darts back to back to back. He's getting in a rhythm. Look at the DB play. Okay. He sees it. He's turning his back. Nice. What is the throw though? I feel like that's just not the throw. That's just not the throw to make. Maybe here. That's just not the throw to make. Secure catch. So you still see the secure catch animation. I'm sure they'll have the spectacular catch animation. Some of that is still obviously in the game. Anyways, I told y'all I was going. I was going to stop and get technical. Ball hawk improved break on throw ability. Frequency in player and team skill level. Physical abilities boost Ooh, attributes no like breaking tackles or can provide protection from wear and tear. Mental abilities enhance intangible traits like leadership pre-snap clarity at the line of scrimmage, and staying calm under pressure. Here you can see the stadium pulse meter is... They added back stadium pulse. They added back stadium pulse. Clap it up. I don't know how old everybody is watching this video, but if you're old enough to remember when they had stadium pulse in the game, come on, man. This game is for us. We deserve it maxed out but the visiting quarterback does not have the mental ability headstrong which provides resistance to distractions the visiting quarterback here does have headstrong active so he can see the field more clearly and will be less prone to mistakes for this play a player can have up to eight abilities and they can scale in effectiveness providing situational advantages throughout a game Yo, i heard ollie gordon hold on Scale and effectiveness, providing... I heard Ali Gordon is the best player in the game, currently. Don't ask me who I heard that from. But I heard that Ali Gordon is the best player in the game. So, I don't know how many of you guys are going to be playing um, college football ultimate team or whatever the case may be, but apparently he is the, the guy to be. And if you're starting an online Don and Future Friends, you might want to grab Oklahoma State for an early championship run. I'm hearing Ali Gordon is that guy. Sidestep, ultimate juke moves for responsiveness and faking out defenders, so he's very elusive. Balanced, ultimate ability to break hit stick and strip attempts, so he's, he's breaking tackles and he's able to be elusive. Workhorse, ultimate protection from wear and tear effects. When, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is, what's in, this is where, like, abilities, I'm telling you, this is where it gets very arcadey. And it's 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 tough, right? Because a lot of us want to play a realistic simulation football experience of college football on Saturdays. Some of y'all 
in certain groups of age kind of just want to play your first college football game that came out while you were playing games. And that's understandable. When it starts to feel too arcadey, that's when things start to break down. Okay? So I'm just saying that I'm not saying that we need to be too critical of it, but just be mindful. If we get this game on release and everything is feeling super out of whack, super arcadey, yada, 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 I think they need to hear us on that. Because if they don't, what's going to happen is this gameplay now is going to feel like college football. Maybe the next, second, third, you know, fourth, fifth iteration, it won't. That's just my fear, but. Situational advantages throughout a game that ignite the dynamic and unpredictable moments that make college football so exciting. From Tiger Stadium to Happy Valley, we're pumping the sights and sounds of the most iconic and dawning home nice. field environment. We're pumping the sights and sounds of the most iconic. Oh, so they got hoodies. They got hoodies in the game. Hoodies have been added. That's fire. That's fire. Thick and dawning. I'm hearing though, I don't know if you guys have been hearing this, but I'm hearing that Road to Glory is only certain positions. How crazy is that? And that there's a story mode in it, and that's kind of why. So there, so in a lot of ways, this is the Madden formula, right? Strip down the 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 player experience in a lot of modes and kind of leave leave players with some replayability. I'm hearing that Road to Glory can be completed in 10 to 20 game hours. I keep saying I'm hearing. I'm reading this off of online shit, but I'm hearing that Road to Glory is 10 to 20 hours of game time to complete. I don't know what complete means. I don't know if it means to graduate, to, to go to the pros. I don't know what it means. But it, it almost seems like they maybe put some, some train tracks on Road to Glory. So you can't, obviously there are some train tracks now because you could play any position, any of the skill positions, linebacker, you could play defense, whatever the case may be. Nowadays, in today's world of college football gaming, you are only allowed, I think they said quarterback, running back, wide receiver, DB, and linebacker, I believe. Which is like, damn, why? You would think a game like this, they let you do kicker, punter. You know what I mean? Defensive tackle, whatever the case may be, offensive lineman. Just because is their value less? You're, are you saying you value the trench play less? Because the trenches is where games get won. Are you saying the safety position is not one of the most important positions on the defense? Why would you limit how a player can play the game? I just don't like that. I don't care what any of y'all say. Anytime a game is limiting you to what you can do, but they're still asking you full price for their title, that's a problem. So that's just what I'm hearing. Y'all can tell me if that's not true. Your thoughts on it, whatever the case may be, it's not going to change mine. If I'm giving you $70, I expect to be able to use whatever position I want in the Road to Glory series. I don't understand why you would bottleneck that to certain positions, but I digress. Right lights and sounds are the most iconic and dawning home field environments right into your living room. And with home field advantage, the host team has the upper hand. As the visiting team, you'll face various degrees of home field advantages impacting confidence and composure Sam levels, Houston. on field performance and more. Home field advantage will disorient players with lower composure levels more than it will for the level-headed players. Decisions like audibles and hot routes will become more difficult because these stadiums will be rocking. So it's more Welcome important than Valley. ever to keep your team in manageable down and distance situations. With 134 FBS teams to choose from in EA Sports College Football 25, the wide range of play styles is something you can't experience anywhere else. From wide splits in Oklahoma, to the triple option at Air Force, to Michigan's dominant ground game, yeah. the playbook variety makes for unique matchups every game. Fake out your rivals with new user reverse handoffs, explore the new nice. option game, and other new trick plays. With more teams throwing the ball all over the field, College Football 25's revamped passing mechanic adds control and variation to every drop back. To expand player variation at quarterback, we focused on tuning situational throws in an array of new trajectories that will provide more passing control with a timed button press. Other new gameplay mechanics will give you more control and array of new trajectories that will provide more passing control with a timed button press. 
Other new gameplay mechanics will give you more control before and after the snap. Adjust the length of your primary route with custom stems. Switch players directionally with the new switch stick for post-snap control. Master the new kicking meter and call a number of new hot routes at the line. For more on game kicking meter and call a number of new hot routes at the line. Where are the new ones? This custom stem and then Short cross, deep cross, zig. Okay, I mean. The line. For more on gameplay and playbooks, check out the Campus Huddle blog. Subscribe today to get the latest EA Sports College Football 25 news. To make it game day every day this season, pre-order the MVP bundle, which includes both EA Sports College Football. Okay, so here are my thoughts. Let me just get this out the way. Are we all going to buy this game on day one? Yes. There's no reason we're not going to spend money on this game. They haven't showed us anything that is going to make people feel like this gaming decision that we've been waiting on for over 10 years is somehow wrong now. It's not. We begged for this game to be back. We played college football revamp for years. We played NCAA 14, not modded for years. We've been playing some form of college football for over a decade. And now they're giving us a game. We're all going to buy it. Let's just get that out the way. Do I feel like this game is going to be entirely different than Madden? No. I think that it's meant to be a partner series, as it always was. And I think that EA Sports is making two games that are going to complement each other really well, but one has to feel a little, a little bit differently because it just is a different experience. Like I said earlier, college football is not the NFL. The skill gap between players is, is a lot larger in college football you are dealing with less depth in the nfl just in general there's not much pageantry and tradition when you're dealing with college football you're dealing with almost every school having a history every school having a story every rivalry meaning something there's 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 classics within classics built into the system so if they're able to give you a college football feel but not kill you on gameplay i think this is going to be worth the purchase we're just gonna have to see how this plays out. I have seen a lot of things that I didn't like so far, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I kinda wanna keep some of those things tucked until I see like real footage of 15 minutes of gameplay, 10 minutes of gameplay. But I, I'm a little skeptical, just to give you some indication of what I'm talking about, I'm a little skeptical on animations and how much they they dug underneath the surface. Cause this is a Madden, this is a Madden build. They did not rebuild this game from the ground up. I don't care what anybody says. This is they they took Madden, stripped it down for what they could, but this is Madden gameplay, right? And then they rebuilt their systems, the wear and tear system, the kicking meter, the quarterback passing. I definitely feel like wide receiver DB interaction needs to be updated. We don't need to be doing A for secure catch anymore. Something about that experience needs to change. I definitely feel like the trenches have to have a thorough, 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 thorough cleansing. We need something really uniquely different happening with offensive line and defense line of talent. That is the, like, when, we, when you watch college football, y'all, for anybody that's in the, in, the, in the know, whatever the case may be, if a team is successful, they probably have a really good offensive line and a really good defensive line. Or they have a quarterback that's able to be a really good escape artist. Or they have some skilled guys that are able to really make that two, three seconds the quarterback has in the pocket worth it because he's able to get open quickly, find his, find, his, find his lane, find his position, things like that. So there needs to definitely be some gameplay touches. But again, I have not played the game. This could all be for now. We could play this game week one and everything could work great. I'm just throwing out some of these things just to get our minds going a little bit. The road to glory thing, even though it wasn't in here. I'm sure they're going to do a dynasty, a deep dive, and then a Rose of Glory deep dive sometime soon, maybe within the next week or two. But so far, I'm liking it. That's my final verdict. I'm liking it. Uh, or my verdict thus far. I still don't have a reason to not give this game $70 other than a Rose of Glory changes. But yeah, we'll see. Anyways, boys, I, I rambled way too much in this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I'm pretty sure y'all will be seeing me fairly soon. Oh, plus, I'll leave my Twitch in the in the in the description because I'm on Twitch pretty often. 
So if you just want to come in and talk about all things college football, some things about Madden, sports in general, whatever game I'm playing at that time, even if I'm not playing college football, come and talk football. I can do that with you. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.